This is the uh, 1st of November, 2016. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida, looking at the screw presses. Um, and we're about to test Gorilla Hair. Uh, they sent us samples of Gorilla Hair, and uh, we're going to test it in this little 4-inch uh, lap press. See a motor and a gearbox. They've thrown in a sample. I uh, was severely disappointed. Turns out the uh, Gorilla hair doesn't come from gorillas at all. Uh, it's actually a pretty dry fiber. Um, if I take this and squeeze it in my hand, uh, I can't. I can't even make my hand moist. So I think this is going to fail. But uh, Elizabeth is going to try it anyway. God bless her. And uh, here's the uh, screw going around. And uh, we're uh, squeezing out gorilla hair here. What is gorilla hair? Bark of a redwood tree? Yeah. yeah. Really good, actually. And um, yeah. smells real good. <laughs> and uh, we do get a little bit of water out here. Uh, but um, not much luck. This is a wedge wire screen. Bars. The opening down inside there is a lot finer than it looks on the outside. Uh, these probably had about 15 thousandths of an inch uh, uh, slot width. Here is a perforated metal screen, and these holes uh, are uh, uh, 23 thousandths of an inch diameter. 23 thousandths holes against a 15 thousandths yeah. slot. Okay, the cake's coming out. We're running uh, uh, 20 some RPM in the screw. We're applying pressure with this air cylinder right here, and um, the air regulators up here were set at uh, uh, 25 psi, and um, okay, we're getting more water out. Uh, that is, we finally filled up the machine. Uh, yeah, we're trying to keep the screw covered, and if we do that, we fill up the machine and we'll get liquid to come out, whatever can be squeezed out. Um, if this were uh, blueberry juice, it'd be worthwhile doing this, we, we get a, enough juice out to make it worthwhile, but uh, we're not getting out enough water here uh, to pay for this uh, screw press. Okay, okay we're uh, keeping the press full here, and um, we're getting out of some flow of liquid, but it's a small percentage compared to the weight. We're not getting a great deal of water, and moisture content's probably not being reduced much. I take this press cake, it's warm, that we've had enough friction to heat it up, but it's about the same as what I started with. Okay, we took the air pressure way up to 75 psi, which is, for this machine, extreme, and uh, we're not getting out much more liquid than we were before. Uh, enough difference to uh, try and build a press to squeeze as tight as this one's squeezing right now. Those waves are because the screw's going around. Yeah, I'm just standing around the shipping department. Here's an interesting thing. The shaft on the right goes inside the gearbox. We've got a fixed flange there to make this into a two-piece screen, a seal box put a seal in it right there with a uh, in black plastic feeder section of the screw. One, two, three stages of compression. Uh, we've got notches in the screw. They fill up with fiber and act as a brush to wipe the screen. Um, and Ripley material there is a uh, hard surfacing because that's where you have your abrasion. You need abrasion resistance. And uh, here's the screen that's going to go with this. I know the white slot here. Well, there's the slot on the inside, this 15 thousandths that I was talking about. That one looks a little bigger, might be 20 thousandths. These are uh, some of the 200 and some rental presses that we have, and we're getting into the screen department. We make the uh, screw department, excuse me, these are screws, there's flights for screws, and we got a lot of flights for screws because. Screws and they, everybody's on break. 
Uh, so nobody's working. There's a, a station where they're welding lights onto a shaft with a screw, a flying part surfacing, uh, another stack of lights ready for the next screw. Um, a bigger screw right here. Notice it has the inlet has a small shaft, and we go to a larger and larger shaft as we go along. Uh, that's one technique of getting uh, more compression in the screw. This is raw material that we purchased. Uh, they, these are water jet cut uh, pieces of stainless steel. And then we uh, weld them in the frames. Here's a, a production run of four. We must have finished. We needed one. There used to be five in this run. Here's a frame of a press. This is all stainless steel, if you can imagine that monster. Uh, tons and tons of stainless, 316 stainless, no much, no less. Rotor for a fiber filter, a fiber filter, plane for another press, uh, some more presses. These are vapor tight. Here they're assembling vapor tight presses. You can see the studs with the covers will be used to hold the alcohol inside. And there's another one, and there's another press in the assembly that we're looking to discharge in. And the screen department's over in the chaos someplace.